I am not surprised. Sachs Chicago State University President. Financial aid are in the middle of Tunubu certificate mess. U.S. journalists, ex-students, PAMA, shock Nigerians. The U.S. journalists and the former student of Chicago State University, Jah, Croydon, PAMA, has reacted to the controversy around the academic records of President Bola Tunubu. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Pama, in an interview on Voice of the People FM, said he is not surprised about the people involved in the mess around the certificate of the Nigerian president. According to Pama, an ex president and the former financial aid director of the institution, who we are jailed for fraud are at the center of the mess. Speaking on the institution, he said, We had a newspaper and a new and the newspaper was around forty years, a uh, fifty years, and then the university shut it down in recent years. And there has been so much that has gone on in Chicago State in the last ten to fifteen years. So it actually does not surprise me that they are in the middle of this international incident because of the diffusion that happens at that university. And it starts at the highest level, being the office of the president of the university down to the members of the board of trustees who are appointed by the governor of Illinois. So this sad situation that we are currently talking about is not a shock to me at all. Palmer, when asked if he is subtle, accusing the management of the university of some complicity in one way or another, said, I am absolutely saying that I will not be surprised if we keep learning more information about this. There are people inside that university that were conspirators in this whole thing that will not shock that will not shock me at all we cannot prove that yet but you have to realize that chicago state university has had a former president that was federally convicted of crimes they had a financial aid director that was federally convicted of crimes and these people went to prison this is not a surprise to me that they are in the middle of this mess. Palmer, when asked of the school, actually does. Actually, Palmer, when asked if the school actually does background checks of the academic records that are submitted by the student prior to admission into the school or for admission into the school, said so. I would say that in terms of what we are talking about on the Nigerian president. We also have to put it in the context that this happened back in the 1970s. Now today, the technology has definitely changed. Back in the 70s, there is no telling what they were doing. I, had, I doubt they verified everything back in the 70s. So that is why I am saying I could definitely understand how the situation got to where it is today. Because we are talking about an institution, an institution back in the 70s that was doing things that were probably crazy back then. It is just the fact that the things that came out in the deposition and just same of the contra con con contradictory statements that we heard from the depositions that spread for the Chicago State University. I have covered this university for over 20 years and they talk out of both sides and their mouth all the time, all the time. It is very difficult to get information out of this university. When asked if he's saying that the university management hasn't been quite honest with students and straightforward in their dealings, Bama said, oh, never have been, oh, wow, no. And I am not just saying that 
you can ask any Chicago State University uh, student and they will tell you the exact the same thing. So you know one of the things I found funny is that people in Nigeria have been asking me, well, you know, how do you feel about all this bad press that is now coming down on the university you attended? And I was like, I am absolutely happy. I am absolutely happy because it is now shot in a, a spotlight on the Chicago State on an international level, which means now they have to get their art together or they are going to be heads rolling. And I would not be surprised if the governor of the Illinois, as, as this thing keeps going on, the governor, JB, if he absolutely step in and we start seeing board of trustees member resigning or being removed, I won't be surprised if we see the president eventually taking down taking the downfall of this for this there is a lot more to this story and what i i'll say is that it's possible if the culture of chicago state and the culture of diffusion and the history of corruption that they have had within the administration none of this is shaking to me shocking to me it is shocking to you it is shocking to people in Nigeria. That is not shocking to journalists in the city of Chicago because we have covered this university for decades. Hmm. So where are the birds? They are shamelessly quiet. Obedience are not after their personal interests, but Nigerians. I we personally disown obedience should they be found wanting in what, whatever way. Because Obedient Foundation is founded on truth, justice and equity. The order is founded in crime, criminality and manipulations. Imagine. When we say that Chicago State University was riddled with corruption, most of you did not believe us. Don't be surprised to hear that the person A. Bola Tinubu, he or she who applied for entrance into the university, did not eventually graduate from there. He may have attended lectures and due to one reason or the other did not graduate hence the reason for this drama. Since the university is corrupt, insiders can do anything to get money including arranging dubious certificates for, for them. Tinubu who runs a drug syndicate may have bribed his, bribed his way from his proceeds. Nigerians. This is really getting more interesting and tough. I'm dropping it here. Let's hear from you guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.